sympathy is the only section in Hallmark where you can't get a singing greeting card. And the words inside don't rhyme. That section has sad sympathy cards for hamsters. Even sadder than the look on my mother's face when I first asked for a hamster. And she almost said no. And if she had, I would have been even sadder than on the day of my first hamster's death. I didn't get a card. And if I did, it wouldn't rhyme. But if it did, it rhymed something like, your hamster bit the dust and I know you're upset, but you can't even fathom real misery yet. The world can so easily swallow you whole, wrap up your stiff corpse in a toilet paper roll. <laughs> Deepest sympathies for all your dead hamsters. I got four more hamsters and a guinea pig, and I never think of my own mortality. My grandfather's funeral felt like a family reunion my dad planned months in advance. A stoic destination vacation for Episcopalians wearing black. My sixth grade teacher passed around good thought note cards where we could remember a dead eighth grader, and it was so easy to say nice things. I didn't know him personally, but we spoke in passing when he said I probably had a roadkill pussy, and I'm still not sure what it means, but it was so easy to say nice things. I think it's easier to eulogize roadkill than it is to watch home movies when you aren't home anymore. And I don't remotely remember the sound of my grandfather's laugh. And even if I did, it would probably just make me sad. Maybe sad enough to seal up my sympathy in a pink cursive letter even though my grandfather wrote in blocky caps lock. I'm sad they keep generic death cards in stock. But I'm not as sad as the look on my mother's face when I asked for a fifth hamster. Yeah, the other four died, and I tried a few more times, and I think that says a lot about life, but I can't make it rhyme, so I'll say, Dear Hamster, please tell Grandpa to leave the gates of heaven open for me, because I don't think I can get in without some serious help, and P.S., my deepest sympathies.